Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland coming to you from virtual PTC 21. Joining me today is Andrew Kwok, CEO of HGC. Andrew, welcome back to JSA TV. Pleasure as always. So Laura, so uh, thanks for the time and also the uh, interview opportunity as always. Excellent, well, let's get started. Can you tell us how HGC overall is doing in 2020 and, and how the pandemic has affected the company? As an overall, to answer your question, so uh, the physical damage uh, may not be a lot, but having said that, the atmosphere, just like around the world, is uh, frankly speaking, a lot very good uh, in the overall activities. Basically, I think uh, for HGC as a whole, uh, we do have success and also uh, some uh, uh, impact uh, this year in Tokyo while we are ending up the, the year very soon. Um, on the consumer side, uh, we are having a pretty good business. The reason behind is that uh, because a lot of people are staying home. So some are staying home, lot working, some are work from home, but I assume one third of the time are on Netflix instead of working. So, uh, but having said that, the, 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 the traffic volume uh, of the uh, population has increased tremendously, around 30 to 40%. Uh, corporate business slowing down a little bit because of the big, of, 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 of the uh, delay for some big project, no matter the government project, the big corporate project and all that, that delayed a little bit. But as an overall, uh, I'm very pleased to tell you that uh, HEC, Global Communication, has recorded a single digit growth on EBITDA level this year. Congratulations, that right. is phenomenal. And now part of that growth, I believe is an international expansion plan. So can you tell our viewers about HGC's international expansion? Thanks. So uh, this year, actually our international law is uh, having some impact only to the activities also. Just like uh, all this kind of big conference has been canceled. So no matter on IDW, ACC in Asia and all that, so now the upcoming PDC, I have a big doubt. Uh, we will be, uh, we, are, we are going to meet on uh, face to face or not? Likely, it will be online. I, my team was telling me. So activities uh, subsides a little bit, but uh, having said that, uh, as you would agree, so the new model of business handling is coming, diversity is coming, and the a lot of companies actually looking for opportunity to diverse themselves. From, from the traditional telecom hub, say for example, uh, Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, and all that, and spreading out to more other developing country. Mm -hmm. So this poses an opportunity for us to further expand our international. Well, let's talk a little bit about that. So what kind of ICT solution capabilities then will HGC bring to those countries? So mainly there's a few, uh, but uh, very important to us. Uh, the first one is that uh, we have already established an IDC in Singapore, in Pala Libra. So it is connecting to our three main uh, point of presence inside Singapore. Pala Libra is one, Equinix and Global Switch. Other than that, we are putting up our security solution. Further to that, software defined network and also digital managed platform for alerting, reporting, and big data analysis. So mainly these are the topics. Lots of exciting things happening, Andrew, at HGC. Stay tuned, of course, for more developments all throughout 2021. So where can our viewers go to learn more about HGC, Andrew? Yeah, so uh, I think the first thing is that uh, we are going to expand our Singapore operation in which we have established the office and also the team already. So luckily uh, we have uh, successfully acquired some executive from outside who knows uh, more than I do about the area. So we've been doing international business for more than 15 years. But having said that, for the new model that I described for the deeper corporate penetration, further ODD expansion to get in touch with the eyeball and also the local government project. So we are going to announce in January that uh, the formal establishment of the Singapore operation and uplift. And we are now upgrading our network 
getting license and all that. But one thing I would like to emphasize is that uh, we are coming into the region, uh, it's not for competition. We actually will be doing hand in hand with the local operator as to uh, explore and also capture the business opportunity together instead of a pure competition situation. Wonderful news. We look forward to getting all the updates. Thank you so much, Andrew. We really appreciate your time. It was such a pleasure. It's my pleasure. And thank you viewers for tuning into JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking.